So it opens like that. I don't think there's anything there. But then as you open that. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we're going to do a bit of a different video. Uh, we're going to talk about the new update that's come in. Uh, obviously it came in on PC last week and we saw what changes could be, so we'll talk about that. And then we have a special unboxing at the end of the video, and we'll also talk about the 6pm content as well. So let's get into the game and look at the title update changes uh, and talk about how they're going to affect gameplay going forward. So here is the uh, title update screen. As you can see, there's quite a lot of changes here. Um, there's a lot in gameplay, uh, mainly around the team press D-pad tactic, which is obviously quite OP in terms of weekend league. Uh, and then in situations where the defending team is using team press to recover possession, team press will not automatically remain active on the following loss of possession. Uh, then we talk about the step over and reverse step over skill moves, which we've seen how overpowered they've been and how easy to get past defenders using a step over. So they've been nerfed, uh, to use gaming term. And both skill moves are no longer considered easy skill moves and will be less effective when chained together while moving. Which obviously they were spammed quite a lot. I faced a few difficult teams in Weekend League where they're just spamming the step overs and getting past the defenders quite easily. And the animation has been slowed down and decreased player transition speed when exiting either skill move at forward angles. This is a problem that I've never come across, but a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people on Reddit have. And that is the goalkeeper sometimes gets stuck in the back of the net. And you're unable to like take the goal kick, take the the free kick, uh, and basically you're just stuck in an endless loop. Uh, and I think added time was good to like mental amounts. And obviously people complain about that, so that's been uh, fixed. Uh, Something about uh, positioning themselves in front of the ball, careful and a heavy touch defender doesn't contest the ball. And improved referee referee penalty kick logic in situations where the goalkeeper dives at the ball carrier's feet. That has been quite a problem as well. Like, I've done it where. People have like my ankle hoops come out, like gone down to the ground to block the ball, but it's got the ball and the man, and they've given the penalty. So, that, at least that has been changed now. Uh, improved referee logic when making decisions in breakaway tackling situations outside of the box. That's been a nightmare at times because you throw on goal, whether it be weakly, manager, or masterpiece friendlies, you get taken out, and sometimes it's not even a card, and you you lose you lose your temper a bit there. Uh, when a goalkeeper moved and stood still during a penalty kick, they can sometimes put the ball into their own net when it's hit directly, and that's good. It's been fixed like that. Uh, in situations where the ball carrier would start a shooting animation and then the shot was cancelled in time, the defender could sometimes perform an unintended blocking animation. So I believe that was talked about... Uh, someone on Twitter did it. Someone quite popular. One of the uh, analyst guys on Twitter was talking about it where he showed how OP it could be. And basically, you were sitting defenders down or they were putting challenge in and you were getting penalties for them. Uh, so let's look at the uh, ultimate team changes. One that was quite big when it was first announced was that you're always going to see uh, your ball that you choose. So obviously people are using like cushions, donuts, insert whichever ball. You're now going to see the one that you use and the one that you choose. So no more balls with no shadow, etc, etc. Uh, some co-op uh, squad battles. Uh, yet coin balances uh, and some more stuff there uh, yeah I think that's it in terms of gameplay uh, the rest of stuff is more sort of like uh, use interface issues uh, and then career mode which I don't really touch general audio um, uh, and video uh, but yeah that's about it so that is the update so far in terms of 6pm content this needs fixing now. Every time you go on Ultimate Team, a squad update is needed. I think that was FIFA 19 or 18 when it kept doing that. You're stuck in a continuous loop. But here we go, the big one. Team of the Year starts in two days, 20 hours. So Team of the Year is going to be out from Friday at 6pm. So we've got the loading screen. So don't know how they're going to do it. But either way, it's going to be hyped. I've got, I'll have about 150 packs left for it. Uh, and yeah, really... Buzzing with that, I've completed icon swaps as well, so I'm going to have the three packs from that as well as the base icon for the channel. Uh, let's look at the objectives. I don't think there's anything new here in terms of 6 pm content. No, nope, nothing new there. The new content that I saw was the SPC for Laving Kazawa. 
which is the player moments SBC. Uh, so he's an 86 rated player and you need to submit an 82 squad with a team of the week and a PSG player and an 85 squad containing a, a French player as well. So it's quite pricey. I think it's coming about 170, 180k on uh, Xbox, which I'm on. But his stats do look quite good. Four star, three star. The concern there is medium slow work rate. That low defensive work rate as a fullback. If he's up the pitch, could get caught out. It's a tough one because he's got really nice pace, really nice shooting stats for a fullback, dribbling, defending, physical. His agility is 91, reaction is 90. But I've got an untradeable Mendy in the club, and obviously I've been speaking about building the French team. And. He's one that I'd want to do, but because I've got Mendy untradeable, it's kind of like a bit pointless because I'm just going to be wasting coins, wasting my whole coin balance on a player that, yeah, he's good, but I've already got a, a good option already. And like Mendy's work rates are better. Mendy's got similar, uh, better skill moves and better weak foot or same skill moves and better weak foot. So ultimately, it doesn't make sense to then do him. Like, I love a good SBC, as you've seen from Robin, Ben Arthur, uh, Traore in my club, etc, etc Higuain, but this one I'm skipping, same for the John Stones one, the play moments there I'm skipping, uh, so yeah that's all we have for 6pm content uh, and then I'm going to do a few more play picks uh, probably for a video later this week uh, and tomorrow we're going to be doing the Team of the Week review uh, once that drops at 6 o'clock, I'm looking at Silver Stars and then Thursday will be my Foot Champions Rewards now, it's time the video that I mentioned at the start, and we've got a, a nice little surprise, a nice little unboxing, which I haven't done before, so let me switch screens. And we are back to full screen, and that is because, as part of my work with my 9 to 5 job, you might have seen a little thing then across the bottom of the screen, uh, I work for Sport, and we're doing a lot of stuff around Team of the Year, doing a lot of... Um, sort of engagement sort of stuff uh, with our audience for Team of the Year voting and encourage people to vote. And the kind people at EA have sent me the Team of the Year shirt. So yeah, uh, this is probably the first thing I've got FIFA related. Like I did a, something a while ago where they sent like the picture of the magnetic board, but personally this is the first thing I've actually got from here, which I'm absolutely delighted back and a big thanks to uh, the guy at EA who did send me this. Uh, so it's a really nice box. It like folds out, I'll show you in a minute, but then it's got FIFA 21 and Team of the Year on the front. And then the big XI on the back, I'll show the team the 11. So let's go ahead and get it open. And you open it via this way. So it opens like that. I don't think there's anything there. But then as you open that, boom, that you've got this. So this is uh, Be Heard, Vote Now. And then on the back of it, it is that message there, which I can't read. There we go. Choose the best 11 players from. The past 12 months of football and cash your vote for the team of the year, ea.com forward slash FIFA. So obviously, team of the year voting closed on Monday. Uh, I only got this today because I didn't check my post box yesterday. So that's on me for that. But yeah, a really nice shirt. And it comes in a really nice box as well. Like I'm going to definitely keep this as a, a memento. But yeah, let's put this box down and show you the shirt. So as it folds out, very, very nice. There we go. You can see it better there in the light. The EA badge, the FIFA 21, and then the uh, Team of the Year logo and the crown and the XI in gold occasionally. And then as you flip it around to the back, we have 21 on the back. Uh, there we go. You'll be able to see it better like that. So yeah, uh, really pleased with that. Um, this is going to be part of my new display going forward once I've got all my stuff sorted in terms of the setup. But yeah, a massive thanks to EA for sending that as part of the work with Sporth. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. And we'll also be covering uh, all Team of the Year stuff over on Sporth across all channels. Um, so if you need to find somewhere for Team of the Year, let's go. Friday, 6pm, Sporth on Twitter, Instagram, website, sporth.com, Facebook. It'll be there and you'll have all the news you need to know about Team of the Year. Uh, but that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below. Uh, comment if you've done that leaving Kazawa SBC or how you found the new patch. I've not done the gameplay yet, but I will be doing it in the next uh, few hours, few days. Had a weekend league. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.